When it comes to cars, stopping is as important as driving. Braking is directly linked to safety. The brake system has been proven in terms of safety and reliability over a long time. It is operated on the same principle since its creation. Brakes are designed to be stronger than the drive system, meaning that you can stop the car in any situation. First, let's look at how the brake system with a booster, mainly used in ICE vehicles, works. Brakes can operate independently, separate from the drive system, including engine, and the electronic system, including ECU. The ICE's brake system consists of brake pedal, brake booster and master cylinder, brake tube, brake disc and calipers, and brake lamps. Here's how the brake system operates in normal circumstances. When the brake pedal is pressed to stop the vehicle, the booster, brake tubes, and calipers operate in sequence, applying friction to discs. From the moment the pedal is pressed, a switch on top of the brake pedal breaks contact, causing brake lights and high position stop lights to turn on at the same time. When the brake pedal is pressed, the force is transferred to push rods and amplified by the booster, which is in a vacuum state, enabling the push rods to push the master cylinder more firmly. The pressure created at this moment pushes brake fluid into the brake tubes, which in turn activates calipers on each wheel to stop the vehicle. Then, what would happen if the brake system malfunctioned? Suppose that there is a problem with the brake booster, a key element of the brake system. When a driver presses the brake pedal, the force is transferred to push rods, but the booster fails to assist causing the driver to feel that stepping on the pedal is stiffer and heavier than normal. But, push rods and the master cylinder are connected directly mechanically. So if the brake pedal is pressed with strong power, the vehicle can stop completely through the same process as in the normal situation explained earlier. What about the brake system with an integrated electric booster, commonly used in an electric vehicle? Like ICE vehicles, EV's brake system can operate independently, separately from the drive and electronic systems. EV's main brake system components are brake pedal, integrated electric booster, brake tube, brake disc and calipers, and brake lamps. Here is how the EV's brake system operates under normal circumstances. When the brake pedal is pressed to stop the vehicle, the IEB, brake tubes and calipers operate in sequence, applying friction to discs. Like ICEs, brake lamps and high position stop lamps turn on at the same time the moment the driver presses the EV brake pedal. When the brake pedal is pressed, the force is detected by the IEB sensor and then transferred to the electric motor, which in turn operates the cylinder to create pressure. The pressure then pushes brake fluid into the brake tubes, activating calipers to stop the vehicle. What would happen if the EV brake system malfunctioned? Among several possible scenarios, suppose that the IEB, a one key component of the EV brake system, doesn't operate properly. The driver might feel like braking is not as smooth as usual. But even if the booster is not working properly, the brake pedal, push rods, and the master cylinder are mechanically connected meaning that if the brake pedal is pressed sufficiently, the vehicle can stop like in the normal situation explained earlier. In other words, even if power is not supplied to the IEB or the electric motor malfunctions, the brake system works. The brake system is designed based on a simple mechanical structure with proven safety and reliability. The brake system works independently regardless of other vehicle systems, allowing the vehicle to stop anytime, keeping passengers safe.